Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to the Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. Woo! What a week of Isaac runs we've had thus far. We're still waiting for the next video to cross 3,000 likes. Now, Tuesday's video is very, very close. If it hasn't already gotten there, at least at the time of this recording, then make sure you go check that video out. Give it a thumbs up. Click the like button, all that kind of good stuff. And also, also, we have amazing artwork of the day here submitted by Just Jacko Man. Title of the thread was simply just small sketch. <laughs> but they also went on to say, hey, everybody, here's my small sketch for our true metal guy. What if I do something more full? For our man, and you can go check out that thread down below in the Sinvicta Reddit, uh, the subreddit. And again, it always amazes me just how many talented artists we have in the mosh pit and how many different interpretations of the Sinvicta logo can be morphed and brought to different mediums. It's really, really awesome, and it's a really fun place just for artists and everyone who likes the channel. Uh, CJ is going to be Quebec X Ray Echo One, November Foxtrot Papa Bravo. We've got uh, options, we've got great tears rate, good damage, good shot speed, good movement speed uh the only problem is that we have no idea what our hp is but we can still go into the curse room and teleport out with undefined if we really really want to um not sure if that's gonna be a wise idea or not but we'll just have to figure it out um but but i will say that uh you know it's i love starting with something like options because it gives us an ability to not only have a, a better choice right from the get-go but also of course the potential for us to really ball out of control early um, Isaac is a game full of choices sometimes uh, and sometimes not full of choices depending on how you look at it but being able to have the element of hey we're gonna get either one item or the other in, in every single item room from the from the start is very 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 powerful and hopefully my prediction is hopefully I will be able to to really start coming out swinging here on this first run and uh, you know maybe going to a second run that'd be that'd be even cooler so uh, if it's if we don't go into a second run, then I'm actually going to be pretty surprised. I wouldn't mind getting Rotten Baby here, but we would have to get a bomb in order to do that. And there's many other different ways that we can spend a bomb. I mean, it's not that Rotten Baby is bad, of course. It's just that, like, we have to... It's, it's consumable prioritization that sometimes is not pleasant. Now, of course, keep in mind, we do have Undefined so that... Technically, if I wanted to go into the secret room, I wasn't expecting a little Steven to shoot there. Uh, we we might have a chance of getting in there just via the uh, the teleport. So, well, Steven's kind of kind of freaking me out a little bit here, bro. Yeah, let's get them all. You want them to both be coming from one side, not splitting up like they did. There you go. Get a little bit D a little bit of DPS on little Steven. Got to be careful. Big Steven blowing up when he dies, which is right there. Of course, the best thing for little Gemini and little Steven is to simply just, if you can, try to pin yourself up against the wall and then have them, you want to shoot just barely above or below, depending on which wall you're on, uh, to try to force them to run into the wall. Opposite direction of which the way they of the way that they want to go, like that. So we get little Steven. I mean, little Steven's fine. If we have little Steven, then I'm not going to take Rotten Baby. So now, now sort of the bravery test. Do we go into... The cursed room or not. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. Um, I just wanted to get, like... I mean, we, we can't. So, And we got taken to the Imera room with four soul hearts. Well, well, I know it was going to be that kind of party I would have dressed up. And we had one, two, three, four. Oh, we actually had one red heart and two soul hearts to start with. That's, that's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, but obviously, if I if I had a bomb, I probably would have gone for that tinted rock that we saw earlier uh, on the first floor. But if things worked out because obviously we can't get four tinted rocks. I don't care what kind of tinted rock you're blowing up. You ain't getting four soul hearts out of there, right? The only way you're gonna, the only way that's even conceivable of that happening is if you get a double tinted rock. They had three soul hearts and dropped a chest that also contained a, a, a fourth soul heart. That's that's the only way that works. Trust me, your boy's seen a lot of tinted rocks in his time. He knows. He knows. Uh, we also got depression here. Depression is going to follow us around like a little rain cloud and anything. Unfortunately, the depression Aquarius tiers that you see there, they don't actually extend past uh, where you well where they lie on the ground. Um, unlike Aquarius, which does sometimes have, it does sometimes take 
uh, the properties of your tier effects, uh, the depression one does not. It just simply just gives you a creep trail, and that's that. Sometimes it will occasionally fire off, crack the skizzle. Get another key here. Again, again, what seems to be the running theme of this week is just that, like, no bombas at all. Like, all the bombas are have have, have gone away. They, they they went down to Cancun or something. They they're they're on vacation. Our hair is also kind of wacky. Yeah, I know it, it might bum some people out that we didn't have like a true wacky Wednesday last week or not last week. Last week was wacky. Uh, this week, um, but oh yeah, we also have the uh, we have to also have safety scissors. Thank you, safety scissors. Very kind of you. Um, but I was up against it and I didn't really want to. I, I didn't want to like really like you know half measure like some like eh like challenge or eh like wasn't really feeling like a, a mod or anything like that. So you know sometimes. Sometimes the whack. We haven't had Ipic hack in a while. I'll take Ipic hack. Although I didn't realize that our range was so doo doo. When did, when did, where did that range down come from here? Our range down. Our, our range is it's kind of bad. I do like the explosive power of Ipic hack, although it is extremely dangerous. Uh, that was a TM. That was a TM trainer item, and uh, we will not be taking that. So. Whatever that, whatever that originally was is, is no longer. This old Judas here. I guess we need to use it to get into a curse room or something like that. We got to be real careful here. Our shot speed also went down, obviously, because of Ibicac, So, But just three shot. Uh, I'm horn. Then we get an instant range upgrade, which is great. We, you, you don't want a lot of range with Ibicac. Just want a little bit of range. Now, I do not like... Uh, I have a cult with... With Ipecac. I actually think that's pretty dangerous. And we might as well get a little bit of extra money here. We have up to six cents. We could play this for an HP upgrade. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Assuming that judgment pays out, which of course he will, right? Right? Well, I mean, technically he did, but I wasn't expecting that. I also hit the mic because there was a, a fly or something there. Okay. Uh, let's go, we can go back here and cash in this, <laughs> cash in this one heart. Now, if we are a real, a real min-maxer gamer here, we'd go, okay, we'd, uh, we'd go back and, and forth and grab all the hearts and stuff and, and play the temperance machine, but it paid out anyway, and I'm also not a min-max gamer, so I'm not going to do that. People say that they can also they also share the ability to lucid dream. If you if you have the ability to do so, man, it's great. Like it it, it is really really neat. You just you're you're just sitting there dreaming and you know, but like in order for me to like to actually do that like reliably, like I've got to be super tired, like really really tired. And as <laughs> as those of you who've been watching me stream Diablo Four. You'll know that I've been my my sleep schedule has been historically horrendous since the game came out because I just cannot stop playing it, and I mean I'm talking about going to bed at like you know three thirty p.m. and waking up at ten thirty p.m. like that level, that level of craziness like it's it's beyond gamer level hours now of of, of sleep schedule. It's gone into the ridiculous like giga gamer mode. <laughs> Not great. I mean, I'm still getting my sleep, obviously. It's just a very, very weird, weird time schedule, timetable. Gonna pepper Mega Fatty here, see what he does. There you go. The CAC making quick work of him. We do get Synth Oil, which is gonna give us a nice damage upgrade. Although Synth Oil doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, because we're already doing over 40 damage. But more importantly, this gives us range. And that's the thing that Ipecac, at, at the beginning anyway, we really had a problem with. Now I actually think that we might even have too much range. Um, so we'll see. Well, if I, I cannot fathom another range upgrade that I would that I would consider taking, even if it was something like Roid Rage. I mean, our movement speed has greatly increased uh, thanks to uh, Blood Bag. So, you know, I mean, it's, not fan it's, it's not phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. Um, I need to go to the item room. Uh, 1.35 is not what I would I would consider ideal movement speed, but it's it's better than me having to extend our range again to making Ipecac even more sort of wonky. 
Now, what I will say is that with Ipecac, you almost, you can almost never fight Old Beastie, um, just because of the of the tier height, and that's one stat that doesn't really get a whole lot of discussion in in Isaac. But the tier height in Isaac is pretty awful. Um, you know, sometimes it can give you the illusion of of having spectral tears, and uh, it will it will it will basically just wreak havoc on certain fights, particularly the Mega Harbingers and the uh, uh, the mother or the not mother fight but the beast fight. I'm gonna use the Soul Judas to get in here. This makes me nervous when the initial Ipecac shot misses. And then we're gonna use Undefined to get out of here for free, and yeah. I will take Orphan Socks. Orphan Socks will give us the movement speed that we need without having an associated range upgrade on, like, Roid Rage, uh, but it will also give us Spike Immunity, which is really good. Like, I'll, I'll take that. Because who knows when we need to dodge, like, over spikes and stuff to miss our own Ipecac shot, you know? Now, we could... We could play the Sacrifice Room. I'm not going to do that, though, and here's why. It's because we have Ipecac. The thing about Ipecac is that it's... It's the most dangerous when you forget that it can deal damage to yourself. I'll talk about what that means in a moment. It's kind of one of those sight unseen um, dangers in Isaac. If you, the the moment that you think like, oh, I'm unbeatable, like the hubris starts setting in a little bit, you know, you start you start monologuing about dream states and all this kind of crazy stuff, and the next thing you know, you're hitting yourself left and right because you're not really paying attention, and then that's when the problems start happening. You realize, oh, wait, we don't have any way of generating HP. This is now a dire situation thanks to Ipecac and, you know, poor play. Mostly poor play. It's the item's, it's the item's fault that's, it's the item that's wrong, not me, of course the bomb here just because I don't feel like messing with the keeper you find greed so it, it's a Ipecac is a great item to be sure but you have to be careful with you just you just have to respect it like any like any weapon I mean it, it is a a item that can very easily hurt you and end your run don't ever forget that it can hit you at close range and always remember that it can hit you. It can hit targets that are on the ground, despite it being like you know ten feet above the target. You know, some people have asked me in the past, like, how do I? How am I so accurate when it comes to Ipecac? Well, it's because you don't have to actually hit the tier on the target that you're aiming for. You you actually just aim for their shadow, uh, or aim the Ipecac shadow at them, and then that's all you really have to do. Unless, of course, they burrow like stain, and then like you know you have to mess with that now. Uh, but yeah, so that that just comes from years and years of playing with Ipecac. I was waiting for that Diglett to shoot, and it didn't. Uh, I will take more shot speed, actually. Our movement speed is now going to be too high. Get Void again. You know what, Void? I'm not, I'm not going to be tempted. You, you, you blew it the other day. When Voiding goes wrong, when was that, Monday? You've lost your, your void privileges for the week. We need to back up here and get away from Gabriel. You drop charm. We don't really have any luck based tier effects. I'm just going to take the angel, the angel key here. And then we can use undefined and go. It took us to the. The item room, which is a little bit strange. It's usually last on the... Well, besides the I Am Era room, it's usually last on the prioritization list. But that's where it took us. Oh, and I know that was going to annoy some people, but if I didn't if I didn't check in that mushroom. Uh, also, I could have bombed... I could have easily bombed the... Um, double 10? No, it's not. Um, I could have easily bombed the door to alt path on the last floor, but didn't because uh, I'm not used to doing that. I want to give the haunted chest a chance to activate. Great block by Trinity Shield right there. Ingram should be there. 
Should be there. Should be there. Not. That's surprising to me. Mr. Boom. Definitely don't need Mr. Boom here. Having Undefined is actually pretty nice. Maybe the super secret room is there. Sometimes if you see that room there, it's, a, it's like a 60-40 chance. Yeah, here's our secret room. Here's the secret room. You can see the arrow that the poop was kind of making here before I broke it. Pointing towards the, uh, pointing towards where the secret room would be. Sometimes you got reverse arrows. Sometimes you got poop arrows. And sometimes you don't, you don't have any arrows. You, you just got to look into the matrix. Okay, so if you miss, if you see what's going on in this room here, I missed the first two shots of Ipecac. That is actually way more dangerous than Ipecac itself. You have to be, you, I mean, you have to be accurate because the longer that the targets remain up in your room with Ipecac, the higher the chances that A, the target's gonna hit you with their attack, but also the, the higher the chances that you're gonna hit yourself with your own attack. As you saw me do that right there. Uh, the range was a little bit too close to us to, as we got in the door there with this pile of knights. Pile of Knights is my favorite uh, Bee Gees album, by the way. I never, I never liked the Bee Gees. So can we stop spawning hosts? Quietly got 50 cents somehow. I don't even, I don't even know how we did that. Potato peeler. I mean, we really don't need damage is the thing. We'll take Humbling Bun to the... And Sackhead and Humbling Bundle is a fan... I was going to say Fanstabulous, but that... Fanstabulous, now that would be a great horror flick name right there. I'm, I'm copywriting that right now. My buddy, my buddy Deadmeat James, I know he's not watching, but if he was... James, make sure you let everyone know that I'm I'm copywriting Fanstabulous. Unless it's already copyrighted. So, someone, do a, someone do a fact check down below for me. Post in the comments. It's Fanstabulous... Is that, a, is that a registered trademark name of anyone yet for a horror, horror franchise or anything? <laughs> now this is what they, this is what they do. <clears throat> They'll leap one after the other. You can't let that happen. It wouldn't be that much, that big of a deal if we didn't have Ipecac, but feral treatment, it gives us spun. So I guess we'll take it. And we lost range. Lost a lot of range. Uh, we did gain damage. We lost HP as well. That. Okay. Okay, we got some more money back. Still looking for our item room. Now, one thing that is nice about Ipecac is that you can skip rooms, just like having in Sulfuric Acid or Terra. You can simply bomb the door. I'm going to go with Bird's Eye, just because Bird's Eye actually gives us that close-range defense that we may not actually have. Um, like, if we miss a shot, we can fire out a, a, fire, a flame. Uh, this is not the Angel Room, obviously. This is the Super Seeker Room. Good damage there with Ipecac. Devil card. Reverse devil card. Okay, okay. That's a free Bible kill on the next floor, which is going to be good because we've got to hurry for boss rush. A pretty good shot. There you go. That's that's what I was talking about right there with the, uh, with the bird's eye shot. That's also what I was talking about. Also, I was talking about when I was talking about the skip. Full card over there, which I will go ahead and take now. I mean, we don't have to hurry, hurry. And obviously, if we if we couldn't find the full card, we could just use undefined. But we have we run into the chance of getting taken to the I Mare room, which would be very bad because we we also wouldn't have our Polaroid um, for that or negative, depending on which side we go. Yo. Although it doesn't work on Claudies, ironically, of course. Whipworm. Mm. Whipworm's interesting, but... 
We can save the devil card for the mom's heart fight. Because obviously, I mean, we... Like, we're going to destroy mom here. Like, she's not going to have much of a chance. In fact, her ads are going to be more dangerous than herself because of, like, you know, the close range... Close quarters combat and Hippocac and yada yada yada. Okay, we'll take the negative. We did not get a angel deal or devil deal. LOL. I used Undefined first just to see what would happen because we could still, thanks to us having the, the full card, we could still get out of there in case if something went wrong. Like in case we did get taken to the Imer room. A guppy item. Cut ourselves a guppy item. Cut ourselves two guppy items. But yeah, we have orphan socks. Uh, uh sure. Do that. Then we'll use the full card to get out of here so we don't incur any penalty on our on our uh nice shiny new soul heart that we got from Guppy's paw. So looking for the item room here. It may have been wiser to go with Guppy's paw than than uh, undefined. What I mean by that is like we I could have waited and gotten three more soul hearts out of that and maybe played the we we might have been able to play the sacrifice room to completion but again we still run into the same problem that I was talking about earlier which is that yes we could probably do it and be fine but in case we start actually hitting ourselves with Ipecac more and more uh, as the enemies get harder and the patterns get you know more more intricate for the uh, monster attacks and everything then it starts becoming a question of well are we going to be able to stay safe here long enough the golden key so it doesn't really matter if, uh, if we open up all these locks sometimes the locks can also spawn hearts in this case it did not but okay there we go everybody now officially gone everywhere except the one way that i wanted to go which was right into our item room how does he do it how does he consistently do it Gosh. Uh, this is probably not a good idea. I don't normally like playing with chocolate milk, but chocolate milk Ipecac is, um, that is a whole lot of damage. And it can ramp up very quickly. First the lost. Only take a stab at it with uh, Undefined. And it took us right to the boss. That's what I was kind of hoping. Yeah, this is a absolute metric butt ton damage. Of course, it doesn't matter if you miss your target twice, but three times. Thank you. It's not dad, Daddy Long Legs is not. Daddy long for this world. Bro. Thank you. Big time damage there. We get stig or uh, not Stigmata, but Blood of the Martyr, which is going to give us even more damage, although it doesn't really help us that much. I will take a Bone Heart just to protect our Soul Hearts and also just in case we, like, you know, hit ourselves. But the undefined play, like, definitely helped out a whole lot there. We don't have to worry about Curse the Lost. And, uh, you know, we get to we get to just go down to the next floor faster because there's not really a whole lot of exploration you need to be doing on the womb levels unless, like, you really need a Tinted Rock or something like that. But late game exploration, like, the womb levels in particular are, in my opinion, not all that profitable. Um... I think that it's more it's almost more of a hazard same thing goes for cathedral although i will i will argue that cathedral probably has a better reason to explore than i don't know why i did that 
uh, than uh, the womb does because of the, of the presence of blue fires. Looking for a heart here to get get myself a little bit of help. Take the devil card. Now we don't want to use undefined here and get the I am error room mainly because if we get taken up, we have no way of getting back down unless there's a sacrifice room. And then that creates a whole nother problem because if we do play the sacrifice room and get taken down, then well, we have no, like we're, we're going to be very, very low on HP. Devil's crown. The rapid, uh, the rapid Ipecac shots help us deal with the riffraff and also create smaller explosions, slightly smaller explosions. So we can use them a little bit closer range, but for the most part, we want to still be very careful with friendly fire. I don't know how we managed to break both of both the poops before hitting the thing that was in the middle of the thing. There we go. There we go. Just pepper them down. Pass it around. 99 mushrooms on, on the wall. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. Hang on a second, buddy. Mushrooms ain't drugs. Okay, well, don't, don't do shrooms. I mean, do you really want to be like Mathis Games? I mean, pfft. I don't know if Mathis does mushrooms. I don't know. Like the 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 common the common habits of my friends are always lost on me because I don't have any friends. Um, no. I haven't I haven't talked to Mathis in a little bit. In a little bit. Uh, we got dice bag. Dice bag could be pretty interesting. Although if we start talking about start talking about maybe uh, maybe re-rolling, then you know. that on purpose uh yeah again we don't want to use the, the undefined because we don't want to get taken to the nightmare room i was on the chaluminati podcast years ago and i still get messaged uh from people telling me that they love that episode I take infamy here just because it does have a better chance at saving uh, saving us from a hit. Um, by the way, somebody it was a it was a couple days ago. Somebody uh, was requesting a first a first floor or first run uh, old hushy fight. So, to whoever that was, here you go. <laughs> a first run non victory lap hushy fight. Great block by infamy. I didn't. I was not expecting that to actually hit us. Wow. Okay. Congrats, Blue Baby. You just made like the best play of your entire life and you still didn't kill us. All you did was annoy me. Probably better if we pulse fire here just because we can get more procs of uh bird's eye chili and that can limit the amount of projectiles that old hushy gets Seeing that scaling hush boss armor trivializing your damage quite a bit. Only at the most extreme levels does hush's boss armor not mean anything. Got a really summon happy, summon happy hush here.
Oh my gosh, depression actually procced. Kind of an awkward spot over here. <clears throat> this is the most burrow happy, summon happy hush I think I've ever seen. All right, down goes old hushy finally. We'll head on to Zown. All right, so I'm going to use Shoal, or I'm going to use uh, uh, Undefined here, and we immediately get taken to the Iron Room, which allows us to skip Shoal, actually, which is great. Um, there's also Steam Sale and a whole bunch of money, so yeah, definitely take that. I, I swear to you, I didn't even see those spiders there. So we have two diamonds now as well. That's going to that's, that's gonna be pretty nice. It's going to be pretty nice. So Undefined helping us skip more annoying levels here helping us get away from curse of the lost and now get away from uh shoal <clears throat> the whore babylon backstabber blood rights and i belial now i belial with ipecac is not a good idea um we already deal enough front loaded damage so we don't need that i wouldn't mind for babylon Backstabber, so the thing about Backstabber is that, like, with with the knockback of Ipecac, you can actually make them take even more damage because you're pushing them away. It kind of works like the bleeding effect in um, in Path of Exile or Dead Dead Cells, where the more that they move while they're bleeding, the more damage that they actually do to themselves. So being able to jostle them a little bit is actually pretty valuable if you have if you have a bleeding effect. In fact, the only bleeding effect other than backstabber in the game is going to be mom's razor blade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, if we if we end up using uh, undefined here, it could take us to one of the secret rooms, and it did. Um, except I was hoping it would take us to the other one. The one that's closer to the boss. The D-Sizzle here from the dice bag. I did see the D-100, but I chose not to re-roll. Maybe on the next one. We'll see. It's always a little bit of a crapshoot to re-roll. I was kind of hoping that we were going to get our third guppy item. But say la vie. Not happen. D Bizzle. Please stop pushing Monstro. Alright, D Bizzle, we got we got some work to do here. D Bizzle, the last time we saw him, he was an absolute absolute all-star. We'll see what we'll see what he's gonna do today. And judging by these enemy spawns, the game has had enough of our stuff. Honestly, I've had enough of it, too. That's two enemies now that have spawned either directly behind us as we were moving or directly on top of us. Game. To find this time we get taken to the uh, Super Seeker room, and this is D-Bizzle's haven here, so let's see what he does with this. All right, D-Bizzle, let's go. Yeah, that is an acceptable amount of payouts. I would expect to, to have at least three soul hearts from that. So I will 
I will excuse the pills that we saw. Got the D8, which would be a horrible idea here. D8 is honestly always a horrible idea. How that shot missed. Yep. You, you just you know it's coming. Uh let's see. Yeah, we can we can fly through a victory lap. I can see it. E Easy to DX. Got D Bizzle. We got 99 cents. He pay out with one? He did. Look at that. I tell you what, D-Bizzle on a... Uh, he's been on a tear lately, and I'm fine with it. I'm all for it, actually. About time he goes back to his all-star roots. Uh... Star of Bethlehem. Oh, my God. What is this? Godhead? We got Godhead, Dunce Cap, Rubber Cement, Black Candle, which... Didn't activate some for some reason. Um, Parasite. We got, got the, we got the stairway. What on earth is this run, man? A Gimpy as well as Robo Baby 2.0. Actually, that was stupid. I I should have just rerolled that. I totally forgot that we had the uh, the glass D6. Uh, we got kidney stone as well. Let's see. I I, I kind of want to. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I I kind of want to get a little profit out of this uh out of the stairway acquisition. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. And I don't know why our tears are doing so much damage. I mean, I know, like, obviously we have the Godhead Aura, but, like, but, like, it, it's, it's it's not that strong. Like, our, I mean, our damage is only 8.66. Mm -hmm. Should not have done that. I think re-rolling is off the table now. Because the thing is, is that... Could use the two of of diamonds i wasn't thinking straight uh what we sh you can't take secret room items when you're on a reroll bonanza because you do run the risk of running into tm trainer and or missing no and that can brick your run in a hurry the pogatory whore babylon our movement speed is so bad but we have a very powerful run, albeit a slower run. I mean, Godhead... Godhead plus anything right now is going to be really, really, really powerful. And in Navi, there's a, there's a... There's a secret room in my boot. Now, the likelihood of us re-rolling into TM Trainer or, or uh, Missing No is low. But this is also some Victor Luck we're talking about. Okay. That is... That is certainly something. Uh, somehow we maintained... Revelation and the stairway. I don't know how we did that. Also got the Pascal candle, uh, treasure map, use mascara, pop, tech two. Because I think that's tech two. Tech point five as well. Oh, that's not flat stone because the sides are bouncing. going on here uh oh we have c-section godhead again mom's knife 
Sacred Orb. Yo. Yo. Man, that shot speed, though. We're doing a ton of damage, however. I don't want to D100 because I don't want to mess with our stats. Because that could make future rerolls just really, really bad. You did get the mine, too, which I'm honestly, like, totally down with. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty powerful build. What's going on here? Yeah, we'll take Lost Contact as well as Perthro Rune. Now, because we have uh, C-Section... Our shot speed is always going to be bad. However, however, the damage that they do with Mom's Knife is really, really impressive. Also have Salvation, too, which I'm just now realizing. The Eternal D-Sizzle. So, I don't know if I want to... I don't want to keep pressing my luck with the rerolls, to be honest. Uh, because of the, of the simple fact that we have, uh, we have restock as well. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, no, we, we can't. We got Mama Mega. Whatever. There you go. Hello, donation machine. I'm, I've, I profusely apologize. Keepers, sack. Never mind. I'm glad we did that. Take battery baby just because we have keeper sack. Leave cardio coin behind. So this is gonna be a guppy item, however. Um oh no, it did give us guppy, okay. And we got Isaac's tomb out of that. Wow. Out of the eternal D6 uh dice that we got. That was impressively lucky. Uh, I'm not used to seeing that. That doesn't happen very often. This damage is just going to be sick, nasty, crazy here. Taking a risk. Not really a risk, but I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm sending it. I don't believe that we're going to get taken to the Imera room. Movement speed is just so, so bad, though. And I know that it's over one, and, like, honestly, if this were the start of a run, I'd be like, oh, man, we're going, like, you know, this is a great movement speed, but, like, this is not the start of a run. This is a... Late, late, late game victory lap here. Take card reading. Card reading will give us a chance to go into secret rooms. And take us, give us a chance to go into uh, the boss rooms directly. Which is my favorite part because that means I get to skip the entire level. Crack the skizzle. Yeah, that's money. Surprising amounts of HP here, considering that we haven't really picked up a whole lot. I guess we did get a few Eternal Hearts. Wouldn't mind getting Binky one time here. That'd be a nice little tears up. The only downside to the C-section really is just the, the massive amount of tears that you lose. Wow, we did it. Oh my gosh, there's there's coat hanger there too. Unfortunately, we're already capped, so. <laughs> gotta cube them all, gotta cube them all. Cube of meat. Yeah, we did not get the boss portal, which is fine. We can just take the item room here. We finally get some movement speed. I'd say finally, like, <laughs> like we've been struggling with this for the last 40 minutes or so. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot afford anything in there. He says it leaves two cents behind. That is a 
lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a what an incredible assortment of items here. I think we gotta go Tech X, to be honest. Tech X C-section is, mm, is the stuff of beauty. Because of that right there. And Tech X, Tech X C-section is just, oh, I lost my part of the room. I was, I was too busy foaming at the mouth from seeing Tech X here. Look at that. We even got ourselves a red portal too. I know that we've, we we didn't get our Isaac's tomb, and that's okay. I think this run has pretty much been sorted, as the Brits like to say. Maybe it's the Aussies. I don't know. We are we're laughing, mate. The game's getting absolutely yated. You see, really, that's the reason why I've been watching a lot of a lot of Australian survival videos lately, just because I'm trying to. Trying to work on my on my impressions. It's not working too well. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get married to him. Uh, yeah. I think we we take all these. Even though we have the D six, I mean they're they're all good. And sure, why the hell not? Let's go see old Hushy again. Sure. He's not expecting it. We're not expecting it. You're not expecting it. I'm not expecting it. Nobody expected the double hushy kill. Old hushy. Now something tells me that this one, this this old hushy, this old hushy uh, fight's gonna be a little bit different since the last time we were here about 20 minutes ago. Just uh, just call me kooky, call me crazy. I think that we are going to be doing more damage to hushy than uh, than the last time, even though our Ironically, our damage was actually better than what it was on paper the last time we were here. Yeah, no, 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 nothing personnel kid here. Yeah. Yep. That is one dead old hushy, and we're not going to let him get away today. Uh uh. Delirium, here we come. Let's use the answers room because, I mean, even though we have the mind, why not? Uh, undefined. Okay. Might be delirium down here. I don't like this. Please stop. Yeah. Try that again. Uh, where do where would a crawl space go in void? Does this just restart the level? Yeah, it just restarts the level. Okay. Well, we get another soul heart, and uh, we get to try this again. All right. You think I would know this by now? But there are a lot of things in Isaac that I. Probably have known at one point and then forgotten. It's just like school, you know. I mean, I remember what the quadratic equation was, but I don't remember what it did. You know, I, I remember, I do remember some of my programming skills back in the day, but I don't remember why I did them. All right, this is in delirium. We're gonna we're gonna let it, let undefined have a go. Ah, we have explosive. Oh, that's where those explosions are coming from. Okay. Still doesn't. This doesn't feel like the way of delirium. That's because it ain't. We'll take the blanket, however. It gives us our soul heart back and also gives us the holy mantle for one hit in a boss in a boss fight. But now comes the not so fun part of trying to figure out where delirium is in void. We found him. 
We done did it. Delirium does not have any place to teleport to. Especially when the explosive one starts going off. Yep. There we go. So, hey, look at that. Turned out to be quite the interesting run after the first Ipecac hack uh, bonanza that we had. But either way, thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. I hope your Thursdays are going off to a fantastic start. Let's try to get this video over 3,000 likes to get the like streak counter back up and rocking and rolling as we make our way towards the all items tier list 2023 update edition stream. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. Welcome all new subscribers to the Mosh Pit. It's great to have you here. Check out all my links down below for other ways to support my channel. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Caitlin Weir, Myth Withy, and Oliver Went. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.